Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Is It Keto Friendly? So today we're going to test sugar-free Red Bull to see if it's actually ketogenic. So, as per usual, let's test the blood sugar levels and ketone levels for today. So my lead up this morning, I've had a rest day. I've um, walked about four kilometers. I've had one meal. But apart from that, I haven't done anything too strenuous. So it'll be interesting to see where the ketone levels are and blood sugar level. So the blood sugar is actually at 3.7 millimole and the ketones are at 1.7 millimole. So quite high ketones, quite low blood sugar. So we've got the Red Bull, sugar free. I'm actually still in Japan, but as far as I'm aware, these are all made the same, regardless of the location. So it's a universal product that is pretty common. People may take it as a pre-workout. People may just take it as an energy drink. I mean, it's something that I wouldn't typically drink very often. So I'm interested to see what the effects are. So like I said, it's a 185 milliliter can. I can't tell you what the caffeine is. I can't tell you what the ingredients are because I don't speak Japanese. But So there we have it. 185 mil can of Red Bull sugar free down the hatch. But as you all know, I'm an extremist. So I'm going to actually drink two of these because 185 mils, that's only really a shot glass. So we'll crack this second one. It's currently 2.50 in the afternoon. I'll finish this one off. So I'll wait two hours and I'll test the blood sugar and ketone levels again and we'll see what the effect is. All right guys, I'll see you in two hours. Hey guys, welcome back. So it's been just about two hours since I drank that 330 mils of Red Bull sugar free. So in that time period, I waxed my snowboard and gave it a tune up ready for tomorrow. I also did a little bit of research into what was actually in that Red Bull sugar free. And I found out that the 330 mils I drank basically contained 120 milligrams of caffeine, which is equivalent to one and a half standard coffees. Um, it also contained about 1.5 grams of taurine, which is a stimulant from what I can understand. And it also contained about 11 calories total with no sugar. So that's the breakdown on the, on the intake there. Now, just before I test this blood sugar and ketone levels, I wanna make a disclaimer again, as I have done in the past with these videos. Now, these products, although they could be classified as ketogenic, I don't think you really want to base your ketogenic diet on products like this. You should really be basing your ketogenic diet around real foods and whole foods. And these things could be just tools to keep you from straying back to sugar or tools for certain situations. But I definitely don't think that they should be staples in your ketogenic lifestyle. Anyway, that's my little bit of a rant on this one. So let's test the blood sugar and ketone levels. So once again, first, let's look at the blood sugar level. And it's 4.3 millimole, up from 3.7 millimole. So there's an increase in the blood sugar. And the ketone levels, 1.1 millimole. So down from 1.7 to 1.1 millimole. So there you have it. 
for me on today's activity, this current level, I'm still in ketosis. As far as how I felt throughout that two hour period, I didn't have any negative impacts. Um, also, I have a very high tolerance to caffeine, so the Red Bull doesn't really affect me that much as far as I'm aware. So, like I always say, you will need to test for yourself to see how it affects you. But at this point, for me, in my ketogenic lifestyle, it looks like sugar-free Red Bull can be classed as ketogenic. Anyway guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.